Hey guys, welcome back. Unfortunately, this seems to be the Diesel Gladiator Fix-It channel versus the Adventure channel. So, I've been unable to get to the trails as of late because I tend to be breaking a lot of little things on this. Kind of working out the bugs of all my weak links that have, I guess, starting to fail. So, anyhow, I'm just going to share a quick little break with you so let's get after it okay quick lesson mainly a lesson for me so and some of this is hypothetical but most of it is pretty accurate so you have on your jt or jl or whatever you're driving you have your heavy duty steering that you put on there so you don't bend a tie rod right so i have the apex two and a half ton steering which means i have two and a half ton tie rod ends drag link I've got my Fox adjustable ATS steering st stabilizer and let's pretend this is also a one ton axle right I've got my heavy duty track bar from Terraflex so the front end is pretty much dialed in right so where's the wink link well this is the weak link this is a factory pitman arm and this is what failed on me last week. So, and ironically, it broke at the thickest point of the pitman arm. Now, I've got this welded back together. I had to do a trail weld just to get the Jeep off the trail because when you lose your pitman arm, which is right up there, that's connected to your steering box, what happens is it breaks, it broke right here, then this just falls down and then you no longer can steer the vehicle, right? So you have all this heavy duty stuff, one ton axle, heavy duty steering, and then you can't steer the vehicle because the factory part broke. There isn't any heavy duty solution for this, right? So was all this stuff for not? No, it's needed, but this is the weak link. Now, it's okay to have weak links in your rig, right? You want them. Take, for instance, on your drive lines, right? Some guys will run big axles, big tires, and a lot of them will run like a 1310 U joint so that if anything breaks, the U joint goes first and saves a lot of valuable parts ring gears, axles, you know, twisting up the drive line. So that's one way of doing it. Now, that doesn't work for competition rigs, obviously, but for your average trail rig, there are some guys that do factor in some weak links. I personally don't. This, this wasn't, I wasn't factoring this in as a weak link, building up the steering, but it is a practice that's out there. So really up to you. I personally would probably try to build the rig as you know, capable as possible and as strong as possible to get me off the trail. And I would rather just carry an extra part of those things that frequently break more. So now I carry a brand new pitman arm. And I also carry the 40, 42 millimeter socket to take the big nut off. And I also carry some jaw pliers in order to get it unseated. So just food for thought. Weak links. I guess you have to really decide what weak links you want to address on your rig. Uh, I would recommend though, at least coming up with a plan, right? So again, I, with the weak links, I, I carry the parts. And one of the things that I recommend here before I close this out is when I, with all my Jeeps, what I do is I, take them all apart as far as, even when this was brand new, the first thing I did is pulled the tires off, pulled the brake caliper off, pulled the axle out, and then put it back together. And I did that, and then I cataloged all the tools that I used during that process. That way, when I carry a tool bag, I have basically every tool to fix a trail repair that I need in one little bag that basically sits underneath the seat in the back of the Gladiator. 
Now, yes, it's not a whole spectrum of wrenches and sockets and all those things because one that's heavy and cumbersome and then I, I couldn't lug my tool bag around. So I really just have the basics in there and it's weird. It's just a mix match of you know tools. And what I do after I catalog those tools, I'll just go to Harbor Freight. And what I don't have extra in my toolbox, I'll go buy that specific tool for cheap. And then those that tool bag is never touched. It just sits there underneath the seat. I still have my tools in the shop, you know, in the shop that I can use on my everyday stuff. But just another food for thought on you know breaking stuff because obviously I, I love to break stuff. So anyhow, I hope you got something out of this useful. Uh, you ever get to Sand Hollow? Look me up. We'll go out. Cheers.